If the world hates you, just remember that it has hated me first. If you belong to the world, then the world would love you as its own. But I chose you from this world, and you do not belong to it. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. Slaves are not greater than their master. If people persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours too. But they will do all this to you because you are mine. For they do not know the one who sent me. They would not have been guilty of sin if I had not come and spoken to them. As it is, they no longer have any excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me, hates my father also. They would not have been guilty of sin if I had not done among them the things that no one else ever did. As it is, they have seen what I did. And they hate both me and my father. This, however, was bound to happen, so that what is written in their law may come true. They hated me for no reason at all. Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akagodash. Much peace and mercy to brothers pushing the new covenant and freeing our people to the understanding of the new covenant and getting them uh, out of the darkness that they're in um, in these last days and bringing them into the marvelous light of the Lord, uh, which uh, groups, camps, and organizations are not doing uh, because they're in complete they're in complete denial all right towards the the new covenant man so there's no um there's no life when you see men on the highways and byways with garments on and stuff like that and you know they tell you they're waiting on the covenant and waiting for the lord to bring the covenant you have to understand that these men are not of god because the covenant was already established um in the first century so what's happening in these last days is you see um, a lot of our men are just stuck in complete darkness. They're stuck inside a camp. They're stuck in bondage. And the Lord actually told us, uh, going back to the first century, that when he would come, that he would make us free indeed. All right. He would, what? What was he freeing us from? The law of Moses. All right. So when the Lord came, he established a whole entirely new covenant with whole, with his laws. That's what we're supposed to be keeping. All right, this is what uh, certain guys can't understand in these last days, man. All right, let me grab this real quick. This is uh, John chapter 8. John chapter 8, verse 31. This say Yahweh shot to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Free from what? The bondage of the old covenant. Guys in camps and groups and organizations are still practicing the ministration of the law of Moses, the old ministration. All right. We're not in the old ministration anymore. Going back to the what? The first century when the Lord came. So it's been about two to three thousand years since the old ministration has been done away with. And guys are still uh, bringing our people into bondage to that. All right, guys don't understand uh, the context of the scriptures. Guys don't understand the spirit of the Lord because guys in these camps, groups, and organizations, they're not in the spirit. They're not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. They're in the spirit of the world. They're in the spirit of carnality. All right, they're all mostly, most of them are in the flesh. That's why we do these lessons so that a few may come out and understand that you're not waiting on the covenant. The covenant is fully accessible for you to repent to now and, and you utilize the principles of the covenant that the Lord left, which are his laws. There's no waiting on anything. All right. If anything, we're waiting on the Lord to bring the rest of the reward and bring this place to an end. But the, the covenant is fully accessible and fully uh, capable. You're fully capable to repent to it and walk in the principles of the new covenant. All right. This is what's uh, available to us in this time. And there's men um, in their wickedness and in their pride in these last days that are keeping our people uh, from this. These are the wicked scribes and Pharisees. These are the, the men that has something to do with killing the Lord, killing the prophets, killing the disciples. Because they're so reprobate, they can't understand spiritually the covenant is fully accessible. 
and you can repent to it being in this body. You don't need a new body. You don't need to be in your own land. It's a mindset. It's a way of life that you live in this flesh and what it brings you into agreement with Yahweh Bashem Shai. That is the covenant. And it was opened up through the Lord's sacrifice in the first century. So you have a lot of guys that are not even taking heed to this because they're not even taking heed to Moses. They're not listening to God. They're not listening to Yahweh Shai. They're not moving in the spirit of Yahweh Shai because they are none of the Lord's. The Lord came to free us from that old law of Moses, but you still have men that will burden you with the old law of Moses in these last days. It's heavy. John chapter 8. Bear me one second. John chapter 8, verse 31. This say you how was shy to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth. So now what's happening is the true men of the Lord, the men with the spirit, they're starting to understand the truth of the scriptures. All right, they're starting to understand that what? The covenant has been accessible and fully, uh, you're fully capable to walk in the principles of it and repent to it. All right. We're supposed to be learning Yahweh's mind and by way of repenting to the new covenant and utilizing the principles the Lord left, which are his laws, we what we develop the mind and have the mind of Yahweh Shai, but that's only going to be in a few in this time. The world is in gro gross darkness. People, men and women are in these camps, groups and organizations, they're in gross darkness because they're still waiting on the covenant when the covenant has been here. So you have a lot of men that are what they're shutting up the kingdom of heaven from our people in these last days because they have no understanding themselves. They're not of God themselves. They have nothing to do with God in these times. They were the ones that what denied the Lord when he was on the scene. All right. In the first century, when he was in the flesh, these are the same spirits all right, these same demonic men and demonic spirits. All right. That lived during the time of the Lord. They didn't understand the Lord or they weren't able to receive. All right. The covenant spiritually because they what they were carnal men and it's the same thing you have in this last day This is what we're dealing with when we do these lessons and we have scoffers We have men that don't believe that the covenant is here because they're fucking carnal They're of the fucking world. They're not spiritual men All right, but those of you who believe in the covenant what you're going to come into the truth The Lord is going to open up and uh, manifest more and more understanding to you of his covenant of your liberty in the Lord. This is a time for us to what? Specifically each and every individual to get to the Lord themselves. That's where you read in the book of 2nd Ezra 7. This is not about being under certain men. This is not being elders. A lot of guys have taken a high seat. The Lord told us specifically and strictly to not take the highest seat when you're bent into a marriage and guys have done it. So now what's happening is the Lord is bidding other men that are higher in the spirit than them that they find insignificant. And he's telling them to come up higher. That's why we're getting the understanding and the revelation of the covenant in these times, because it's all prophecy and all you other men, you groups, organizations, camp leaders. Uh, elders, all that bullshit. You're going to the, you're, the Lord's telling you to sit your ass at the bottom. Go to the lower room because that's where you fucking belong because you guys are low in the spirit. You guys are carnal men teaching our people that we're waiting on the covenant. That they got to still follow the law of Moses. Moses said when the Lord come, you follow him. And when did the Lord come? In the first century. So we had, we had this whole time we should have been following them, the new law, uh, laws of the Lord. The new tenets, the new principles of the new covenant. But guys have our people, what? Oppressed and in bondage in these camps. And really, if you're in these camps in the last days, you're cursed. All right, you're cursed right now. And I'll get the reason why. I'll get the scripture. John chapter 8, verse 32. And he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's us. You brothers and you sisters out here that what? You understand the covenant? All right, you understand your liberty? You understand that we're under we, we're underneath you, Shai? All right, we follow after his principles. You are free. You're not under men. You're not under. Uh, uh, you're not. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're not having a lordship exercised on you, which the Lord strictly taught against. Why? Because you are free through the truth that you understand. All right. The scripture says in the book of John that the Lord is the truth, the way, and the life. So if you're of the Lord and you're in your house, and you're, and you're in agreement with His covenant, you have life right in these times. You have truth in these times. You are free to the Lord in these times. <laughs> 
This is what we're supposed to be showing our people to do in these times. So that they can repent and walk in the newness of life, which what? Consists of them following the principles and laws of Yahweh Shai. That's what we're supposed to be doing in this time. Not what? Having our people uh, bring them into bondage to the law of Moses. Which camps, groups, and organizations, and these great, so-called great men, <laughs> are doing with our people, bringing them into bondage because it's shutting up the kingdom from them because everything is inside of us. Once we start to utilize what? The spirit, the truth, and the liberty, and what? Repentance and principles of the Lord and the new covenant. All the things and everything is inside of us. This is why the Lord said these things. John 8 and 33, they answer him. We be Abraham's seed and we're never in bondage to any man. They answer him. We be Abraham's seed and we're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou ye shall be made free? They didn't understand what he was talking about. Spiritually, you would be free. You wouldn't be in bondage to sin or according to the law of Moses anymore. They That went over their head because <laughs> they were carnal. And you have these same carnal ass men that need to see a sign that need to see a uh the new land they need a new body to be in agreement with the lord right now they can't even be in agreement with the lord in this flesh they're still following the law of moses <laughs> what the lord said and let me get it real quick man you know what let me just grab it let's get let's get it so you 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 clowns understand man a lot of our people are clowns in this time and they need to repent and you're not going to be able to understand this unless you come out of the camps the lord is not in the camps the lord is not in the camps let's get it in jeremiah since guys are so fucking it's crazy guys are, that don't understand the scriptures they don't understand context they don't understand nothing because they don't have the spirit to discern these things they don't have those spiritual gifts and powers man this is only given to the elect. There was, so you have to understand there were certain men set up in this time that were born with the spirit. Going back to the first century, they came back in this time with the same spirit in the regeneration. Following the Lord, whithersoever they goeth again. It's all scriptural. So what's going to happen, it, what's happening is they're able to teach the Lord correctly because their focus is nothing but teaching the Lord and his way. That's it. That's what's freeing and healing our people. Not having them come into a fucking camp with an unruly multitude. Where nobody trusts each other. Where nobody's repented fully in their mind. And where, where there's no repentance to the new covenant. That's not what the Lord has uh, told us to do in this time. So if you're doing that and you're a camp leader, you're, you're, you're exalted in this world, you're exalted in Israel, all these things, you're this great man. That's showing you that you are an abomination to the Lord in this time because the Lord came and he didn't even receive any honor. All the disciples and Paul, they were all hated. So men that are receiving honor, fame, glory, right, exalted seats, money on this side, you have to know that they are an abomination to the Lord in this time. Okay? That's what you have to understand. Those that are low, that are not trying to be seen, that are just trying to teach the Lord and his covenant, they are of the Lord. You have to understand these things in this time. It's a lot of our people that are not going to make it and they're going to die here in America in these last days because they have nothing to do with God in these last days. This is Jeremiah 31 for you, you reprobates, you clowns. We're still under the law of Moses. Well, do you understand that the law of Moses is a di the law of Moses is a different covenant than the covenant the Lord came and established? They're two different covenants, which means what? They have totally different laws. Totally different principles. One is carnal ordinances and sacrifice, and one is spiritual. Guys still don't understand the separation. They don't understand the difference because they're carnal men and not spiritual, so they won't understand a spiritual covenant because they're carnal ass men. Ch uh, Jeremiah thirty one, and it's it is beautiful. We we love it. We love that you got a majority of you guys don't get it because you're fucking you're fucking wicked anyway. All right, this is the last this is the last uh the last go around for Satan. All right, in his reality. This is the last world for Satan. That's it. All right. Satanic uh heathen, satanic Israelites. This is the last go around for all that bullshit in this time. We're in that last age. We're in the end, in the last days. So what's happening is all men that have secretly came into being knowing they're Israelites and trying to teach. All right, that are actually of Satan. <laughs> 
That's why the Lord said in the book of John, the eighth chapter, you have your father, the devil, because the majority of our people, they're their father, the devil, they're of Satan. You have to be of Satan denying what the Lord actually died for in these last days. You have to be. That is the spirit of Antichrist, which the Lord talks about. I believe Paul speaks on it. Jeremiah 31, 33. Be, but Jeremiah 31, 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. 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 With the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. A new covenant. The first covenant was with the law of Moses. We are not under that covenant anymore. As soon as the Lord came, he established a new covenant covenant i believe hebrews the 10th chapter and the 8th verse and 9th verse tells you these things this is why in the book of acts the 15th chapter when the gentiles were believing all right there was a pharisee that was underneath what the disciples that did what what did he do he tried to bring our people into the bondage of the law of moses which peter had to write a letter stating that he gave no such commandment so what do you have these older men, these elders, and these men in these camps and organizations and groups doing in these last days with all these carnal fucking Passovers, all these days that are according to the law of Moses, which was done away with when the Lord came? What are these men doing? They're doing whatever they want to do. They're following their own mind because they're not spiritual. They don't understand the scriptures like that. They're carnal. They have nothing to do with God in these last days. You have to understand these things, man. Majority of our people, I believe I put it on the brother's comment board. Majority of our people in this time are going to die in America. You cannot be feeling sorry for them. For them. A lot of our people are back to receive the fucking judgment that they deserve from all their past lives of wickedness and this life that they've uh, committed wickedness. There's no escaping. So if you don't understand the spiritual aspects of this covenant, you have nothing to do with God in this time. You are of the world. You're as carnal as can be, just like the world, just like Esau. This is why the Lord said these things. You have your father, the devil. You're earthly. This is why he told men they were from beneath. Because men are of the fucking world in these last days. They have nothing to do with God. Nothing. They're earthly creatures. And they're going to perish, what? With this world. Because <laughs> they're fucking carnal. The Lord ain't dealing with nothing carnal in these times. This is a spiritual covenant. And really, the only people that are going to understand the covenant are the ones that believe and agree with the Lord when he was on the earth. So we were with the Lord and we know the Lord. We have understanding of his mind. Do I? Because we have the mind of Yahweh Shine. This is how we can see all you false prophets. All you false brothers. You make a show of showing uh, that you're Israelite in the flesh, which you standing out on the highways and byways in a fucking garment, but you're still carnal than a motherfucker. Still worldly. Still wicked. <laughs> you can't make this up, man. Well, let me move this real quick, man. You guys are carnal as fuck, man. Talking about we're waiting on the covenant. You guys are reprobates, man. <laughs> I love it, man. Because you guys have been trapped. Now you guys got to carry on and you got to keep teaching false doctrine <laughs> or leave the camp and repent. It's up to you uh, men and women and whoever you are that are tied to these camps and groups and organizations. It's up to you. We don't really care. Give a fuck. We understand who we worship. That's why the Lord said that, man. Jeremiah 31 and 32. Listen to this. Not according to the covenant. Not according to the covenant that I made with their father. So the Lord, when he came, he established a whole totally brand new covenant. Not according to the first one. So why are guys still keeping our people in bondage according to the old? When the Lord had established a new. Because guys are of the fucking world. They don't have nothing to do with God. A lot of guys in these last times, they're wicked as hell with the Bible in their hand. They're niggas with the Bible in their hand. They're demons with Bibles in their hands on the highways and byways. Making themselves look and appear righteous outwardly, but inwardly they're what ravening wolves, like the Lord said. Is the Lord everything is spot on in the scriptures? Everything, these are these same niggas back. <laughs> it's beautiful. These same wicked ass niggas that couldn't get the, and understand the covenant, who killed the Lord and the disciples and the prophets, who couldn't receive spiritual things, are back and they can't receive spiritual things. And they uh, and ultimately they can't receive this covenant because this is spiritual covenant, man. It's nothing carnal. <laughs> 
All you have to do is believe and repent and utilize the principles of the Lord. That's it in this time. We're not under the old administration anymore. Jeremiah, these guys are fucking rubber based, man. Jeremiah 31, Jeremiah 31, 31. Behold, the days come, save the Lord. And this is describing when the Lord came. This is a prophecy of the Lord coming in the New Testament. This whole chapter at the end. Ezekiel, uh, I believe, 36. Ezekiel 37. Those are all prophecies of the Lord coming in the first century. All right. In the New Testament. The New Testament means new covenant god has been reading out in a new covenant this whole time but are telling you and telling our people that it's not here yet <laughs> it's not established yet when that's what they're fucking reading when they pick when they read the new testament because that shows you these guys are carnal and they have no understanding of what they're actually reading they're just a lot of you guys in these camps and groups and organizations you just fucking man pleasers man really honestly you just follow men when the lord said what follow me <laughs> It's crazy. Every man right now should be repenting to and following the Lord. That's what we're supposed to be doing right now. But guys can't do this because they're carnal and they're reprobate and they're man pleasers. And they're scared of men rather than being than fearing the Lord. This is why Paul said, do I rather please, do I seek to please men or the Lord? If I seek to please men, I shall not be a servant of the Lord. This is what Paul said. So a lot of guys have nothing to do with God. A lot of guys are not actual servants of God in this time. A lot of guys are just phonies fucking pretenders a lot of guys are actually of the world a lot of guys are carnal a lot of guys are sensual when there's a task what we're supposed to be doing is teaching the lord's covenant that's been here for us for the elect at least jeremiah 31 and 31 behold the days come save the lord that i will make a new covenant with the house of israel and with the house of judah not according not according to the covenant not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Not according to the, that covenant. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Which my covenant they break. Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. Right? So what's happening is it's a new covenant covenant that is available for us now and it's been here since the first century this is the prophecy of that covenant being established in the first century when the lord came you can look up and google the time from jeremiah all the way to the lord guys are of the world guys are carnal with this book this bible in their hand on the highways and byways teaching going out there teaching nothing Guys are looking real bad in these last days, man, because the Lord told, see, everything, see, guys thought they could hide behind their wickedness, but the Lord will always raise up so, someone to expose the wickedness in Israel. Guys read out of the New Testament, but then tell, then deny it. It's crazy. You guys are fucking cardinal in these groups and camps and organizations. You're not of God. And if some of you are of God, you better bring your ass out of those camps because you, you're really dead being in a camp. You're spiritually dead. You have nothing to do with God being in a camp. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You guys are fucking reprobates, man. Jeremiah 31, 32. This is the covenant that he came with and established in the first century. You can read about it in, in the New Testament, which means New Covenant. Jeremiah 31, 32, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. So this is not according to the law of Moses, that covenant. Fucking carnal ass niggas, man. Which my covenant they break. Although I was in husbandment unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. When was this happening? When was this writing of the hearts, or writing the Lord writing of the hearts? When, when did this start to happen? This was happening when the Lord came and taught the new covenant. Men were being sealed in the mind through their belief. So then the Lord was writing the, these things and the laws in their heart, the laws of the Lord, the laws of uh, the Lord's new covenants. This is really, it's very simple to understand. <laughs> but guys have 
uh, made this a, a, a fairy tale, Dragon Ball Z. All right. When all they have to do is simply repent. But guys, see, that shows you how wicked guys are. Guys are not going to fully repent because guys are carnal. So they want to keep that old man on them. A lot of guys are still the old man with a garment on. Period. This is true. You still that old nigga with a garment on a lot of you guys, man. A lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are not going to make it, man. Because you're wicked. You have nothing to do with God in these times. <laughs> you're not of God. You're of the fucking world. You're reprobates. That's why we tell guys to repent, but a lot of guys are not taking heed because they weren't allotted to repent in this time. Because they're not of God. They're of the Lord. They had they're not in any covenant with God in this time. Denying the covenant. How are you gonna be in the covenant with God or be have a relationship with God if you're not even in don't believe in the covenant? You're teaching our people against the Lord in these times. You're teaching our people to deny Yahushua in these times in his in his way. Just like you niggas did in the first century, you the same people. You the same spirits <laughs> that can't receive spiritual things. You're carnal. Jeremiah 31, 33, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, say of the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Let's get it. Let's get it real quick. When did this take place? Let's grab it real quick. Let's see the fulfillment of this prophecy we just read in Jeremiah. <laughs> God is a fucking carnal, man. This is 2 Corinthians 3. This is where it took place. 2 Corinthians 3 and 1. Do we, be, do we begin again to commend ourselves? Or need we as some others epistles of commendation to you or letters of commendation from you? So Paul wasn't even in the spirit of receiving tithes, saw all sorts of honor or honoring men. He had respect for the churches, he had respect for the believers in Yahweh Shai, and that's it. These guys in these camps and groups denying the covenant, but they want all this fucking honor. They want the glory. We've been doing this 12 years. The truth came out of us. The truth this. The truth came from us. Guys are exalting themselves over the Lord. This is all about the Lord in this time. It's not about women. It's not about uh, how many years you've been in the truth It's not about teaching these things of the world If we can't even teach our people The correct way to repent in this time To escape the things coming Guys priorities are all fucking backwards Because a lot of guys in these last days They're in seats that they, they don't fucking belong to They're in seats that they don't bef or Don't fucking belong in man And I'm gonna keep it just blunt like that A lot of guys are in these high ranks And high offices and seats And they have nothing to do with God in these times Denying the covenant they, they're not in the seats they belong in. They belong in lower seats, in lower rooms. But since guys are so fucking proud and of the world, they took this thing and used it as something to get glory. They used the Lord's word and took it as something to get glory in this time, man. It's very, it's very demonic what guys have done in these last days, man. It's very demonic. Very demonic, man. Very satanic. That's why the Lord said, you have your father, the devil, because they didn't understand that the, that the Lord came to get rid of the old carnal law of Moses and to establish a new covenant to fulfill Jeremiah 31, which we read. Guys are fucking carnal, man. So the Lord established something different. So let's read the fulfillment of the writing of the hearts, 2 Corinthians 3 and 2. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts. So Paul was writing to the churches because they were learning what? The new covenant. They were learning the principles. They were repenting to it. So the Lord was dealing with them through their belief. They were sealed. So then what happened? Ye are our epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Yahweh Shai ministered by us. Listen to this. Written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God. Not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. So the men of the Lord in this time, the men of the covenant, the men that are in uh, complete agreement with the Lord and walk in his principles, which it tells you about in Revelations. It says these are going to follow the lamb, lamb whithersoever they goeth because he's in them. These are the men with the fleshly hearts. These are the men that the Lord what wrote the spirit inside of in these last times. That's the fulfillment of Jeremiah 31. So guys are not even understanding what 
the scriptures even mean anymore because they see what's happening is a lot of people are a lot of men are being revealed to uh have come into this truth for ulterior motives man they're not really here to teach and uh uh wake up our people in these last days man they're not here for that all men a lot of men are in here for all sorts of other bullshit what we're supposed to be doing is teaching the lord's covenant and making this plain upon tables to our people But a lot of guys, they're beguiled from the simplicity that is in the Lord because they're carnal men and they love the old better than the new. And really, the new can't even go inside a lot of these guys because they're old bottles. They're old. They're the old man. They're still stuck in their ways. They're still of the world. They move in tenets of the world. Tenets of being black. A lot of guys still black in the camp. A lot of guys still Mexican, still Puerto Rican. <laughs> it's crazy, man. That whole spirit is not... Uh, the spirit of God in these last times And only the elect are going to get to the actual truth In these times anyway And that's the beautiful part Anybody else, you won't be able to cross over into this You won't enter into this rest, this, this understanding You will never understand And that's beautiful For all you wicked ass motherfuckers out here, man That's beautiful So you can stay the fuck out 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 For as much as you are manifestly declared to be the, the epistle of Yahweh Shai Ministered by us written not with ink but with the spirit of the living God Written not with ink but with the spirit of the living God So in this time the spirit of the living God was being written in men Just as the prophecy said in the book of Jeremiah 31 man Boom there's the fulfillment of the prophecy that's showing you all this stuff has to do with the new covenant. Jeremiah 31, what was it? Jeremiah 31, Ezekiel 36, Ezekiel 37. The whole volume of the book is written of the Lord coming to bring and establish a new covenant and to what? Get rid of the old covenant, which was the law of Moses. Which is why Moses said what? When that prophet would come, you had to listen to him. God's not listening to Moses. God's not listening to Yahweh Shai. God's not listening to God because the majority of our people are of their father, the devil, and it's time to not of God. And a majority of them are going to perish on this side. So you have to understand these things. This is only for the elect. The elect are going to receive this because they have the Lord in them. This is what's happening. <laughs> and you carnal ass, you carnal ass men in these camps, you're, you, you, that's all you got. You got your constellation. That's all you're going to get on this side. Being known in a fucking camp that's denying the Lord. That's what you're going to go down in history for. All you other guys changing the doctrine. Having our people deviate into other doctrines. This is a narrow path. It's one way. It's one teaching that we're supposed to be teaching right now. And that's the Lord and his covenant. Paul determined not to understand or know of anything from the churches except the Lord and him crucified, which was basically or technically saying that the Lord or Paul didn't want to hear about nothing that was happening in the churches except for the fact that they were repenting and teaching and learning about the Lord and his mind and his ways, his principles, his covenant, his laws. You got a lot of guys doing all sorts of other bullshit in these last days, man. Because many of our people are not of God. John 8 and 44, ye are of your father, the devil. A lot, of our guys, a lot of our people are of their father, the devil. A lot of guys are of Satan, man. This is why we tell guys to repent. Because <laughs> you're not going to make it in these last days. You're going to perish. Guys in these camps, you burnt out. You got to do three, four, five videos a week. You just do And a lot of guys just do the lesson just to do it so they can go, oh, I did my videos. A lot of guys are not in the spirit of doing this anymore. A lot of guys don't have no interest in the Lord like that anymore. You're fucking phonies, a lot of you guys, man. And this, and this covenant is really revealing all of you motherfuckers, man. All of you. you. You elders, all of you guys, man. You guys are done. This is why we tell you to fucking repent. There's no The way you're going is the wrong way. Sorry. If you don't turn around, you're going to perish in these last days, man. The Lord said, if you don't repent to his covenant, you shall all likewise perish. The Lord said this out of his mouth. Binding our people to the law of Moses when that was done away with in the first century. You fucking clowns, man. You guys got to get the hell, get your minds together. By the renewing of the mind. That's why the scripture says that you guys don't have no renewed mind being in a camp. You guys are still clowns and reprobates and carnal men and beasts. With no understanding, man. Sad. But it is what it is, and it's beautiful. 
to keep you wicked ass motherfuckers in your fucking lot to receive your judgment, man. Second Corinthians chapter three. So why we tell guys to repent or else you're going to perish. Second, second Corinthians three. Um, second Corinthians three and three for as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of you, how minister by us written, not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. They had the fleshly hearts when the Lord came. Guys are still waiting on the fleshly heart. Talking about we still got stony hearts. You niggas still got stony hearts. You guys that are denying the Lord, you do have a stony heart. You're none of the Lord's. You're none of God's. But us that are teaching the Lord correctly and teaching his covenant or in his principles, we have the fleshly heart. There's no waiting on anything. <laughs> it came with us. It came, with, it came with us in the womb when we were born. This is already inside of us. Certain of you, the Lord is not in you like that. The Lord don't know you like that. You're not of God like that. You're a flesh creature. You're of the fucking world. This is what's just, this is what's being seen in these last days. That a lot of guys have nothing to do with God in these last days. That's what's being shown. A lot of guys are degenerates. A lot of guys are brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, man. They have nothing to do with the Lord. This is only for a few. There's not going to be many that are of God in this time. <laughs> all right. The Lord is dealing with a few. The Lord ain't dealing with a fucking all these unruly multitudes. All these niggas standing out on the highways and byways and all of them are just reprobates. They teach, they sound good outwardly, but in their daily life, they're reprobates. They're beast. They're uncivilized. Guys have nothing to do with God. You guys are full of shit, man, and it's being it's being exposed. A lot of you guys don't have nothing to do with God. But out there teaching, you got the Bible in your hand. <laughs> it's crazy, man. But that's okay. It's beautiful. 2 Corinthians 3 and 4. And such trust have we through Yahweh Shad to God were. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of our, as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Who have also made us able ministers of the New Testament. You go into the word in the Greek, it means New Covenant. So if they were ministering the New Covenant in the first century, what do you think was established all right, through them ministering it? The covenant was established in that time. It has been established and has been fully accessible and repentable to being in his body going back to the first century so we we're fully capable of walking in the way of the lord now in this body but what do the camps tell you you're waiting on a body to be in the covenant you can, you're waiting on to be in your land to be in the covenant you're waiting on some see some to be in the covenant because these men are carnal let me grab some real quick because they're seeking after a sign and the lord said they shall receive no sign these are these same men. They're seeking to see something to understand that they're in a covenant with the Lord. This is the same thing the Lord told us that would happen. These are these same men. Let me see if I can find it real quick. And I'll get out of here. I don't want to uh, make this too long. This is Matthew 16. The Lord said this out of his own mouth, man. Guys are carnal in a motherfucker, man. Hold on. This is Matthew 16. And all that shit you guys are teaching in the camps, that's all leaven. All the hypocrisy. All that false doctrine. All that heresy. It's all leaven. It's all leaven. And this is what the Lord told us to beware of. All that carnal leaven that these men are bringing forth into our nation in these last days. Teaching it. Teaching that madness, that bullshit. All that leaven. All the, it's crazy, man. You guys, these guys are, the, a lot of you guys are the prophet killers. You had something to do with killing the Lord or killing his disciples or killing the prophets of old, man. All you guys, man, have nothing to do with God in these last days. So you can keep, continue to fool your fucking self. Teach you what you're teaching, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Matthew 16 and uh, 
1. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. This is the same men. We need to see us being in a new body. We need to see us being on our land. We need to see this and this and that and this and that to actually believe the covenant. When you can fully just repent to it and walk in the ways now through the spirit. Guys can't do this because they're wicked, man. They're these same spirits, these same wicked ass niggas back, man. Now you're being exposed. See what the Lord told us that the Holy Spirit or the Comforter would do when we receive it, which is what we're receiving now, is that it will bring us into remembrance on who you niggas are and who we are in these last times. You need the same niggas, man. You need to see something carnal to believe you're in agreement and in a, in, a, in a covenant with the Lord in these times. Just as these men needed a sign to believe that that was actually the Son of God bringing the covenant, bringing the new way. They, were, they denied his way. They denied how he did things. They denied him because they needed to see a sign that that was the Lord. And th the Lord was doing miracles in front of them. <laughs> Just as we do these lessons, all right, confounding you guys in these camps and groups and organizations. These are works. These are miracles, man. Because it's like the brother says, we do these lessons a certain way that men can't teach because they don't have this spirit. The majority of these guys in the last days that, that know the Israelites are of the fucking world. All they are are black dudes and Hispanic dudes and so-called Native American dudes in garments. They have nothing to do with God in these times, man. Teaching that the covenant is not here. Teaching that you, you see, you guys are still requiring a sign from heaven. Still requiring it. To just agree and walk in a new way and not the old law of Moses. You guys are carnal, man. Matthew 16 and 2, he answered and said unto them, when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. That's why guys don't have no discernment. A lot of guys don't have any discernment. A lot of guys don't have a discretion. They're not of God like that. They're of the world. So they have tendencies and they have principles that that what come forth that are worldly. They have nothing to do with God in these times. Verse 4, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. A, this is red letters. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. Oh, we need to see. We need a new body to be in the covenant with the Lord. We need to be in our land to be in, in, a, in a covenant with the Lord. We need to see something. We need, to, we need a sign. You guys are that same wicked, adulterous, demonic, satanic generation that was on the earth when the Lord came. Now you're back doing the same shit and teaching our people to not believe in the Lord and to deny the Lord in this time. It's very demonic what you guys are doing, man. We hope guys repent, but we're not waiting up for guys in this time, man. We can't do it. All right, guys are going to repent and come out of these camps or guys are going to perish in these last days. It's as simple as that. There's no gray area with the Lord when he gave his life for this covenant. But you still following the old. <laughs> Telling our people and blocking our people from coming into the new something the Lord died for them to have in these times. It's crazy, man. So what we're doing is we're teaching the Lord properly so those that are actually of the Lord that agree with him can remember and can receive and repent to the new covenant, the new way. Not the old carnal ass niggas, man. Matthew 16, what is this, uh, Matthew 16 and 4? Yep, Matthew 16 and 4, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. Seeking something, you need to see something. <laughs> Guys are card a little motherfucker, man. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. See? It's not going to be no sign. You guys are not going to get nobody to uh, understand you're of the Lord at this time. You guys are never going to understand you of God because you guys are not of God, man. That's why you guys calling them, you got guys calling themselves the hopeful elect. You guys, guys talking about, I hope I'm the elect. I hope I'm of God. <laughs> if you don't know you're of God at these times, you have nothing to do with God at all. You're reprobates. <laughs> That's why you guys are continuously seeking after something. <laughs> you're not going to receive nothing but us telling you to repent. <laughs> you see? And he left them and departed. And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Yahweh said unto them, take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. That's you niggas. What is that leaven? Heresy? Hypocrisy? Wickedness? 
lies. <laughs> All things that you niggas are doing inside these camps and groups and, and, uh, and organizations. Corruption, extortion. Guys are wicked, man. And they reason among themselves saying it is because we have taken no bread. Which when Yahweh shall perceive, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves because ye have brought no bread? Do ye not understand, neither remember the five loaves or the five thousand and how many baskets ye took up? Neither the seven loaves or the four thousand and how many baskets ye took up? How is it that ye do not understand that I speak it not to you concerning bread, that ye should be aware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees? Then understood they how that he bade them not Beware of the leaven of the bread, but the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. These niggas teaching that the covenant's not here. These niggas teaching all types of heresies and false doctrines. Doctrines of men. They're not teaching the gospel the Lord was teaching in the first century. These guys are, they have the leaven of the Pharisees and scribes within them. And they're putting and pushing it off on our people in this time. It's very demonic what's happening, man. The Lord told us to beware of these niggas standing out on, on the streets with long garments and long robes, loving to be greeted and loving to uh, be stationed in the markets and in the streets. That's the, what you see out there now. <laughs> everybody, see, everybody's going to where they're supposed to be. Everybody's in their lot. And you men that are denying the covenant, you're doing it just as you did in the first century when the Lord came. This is why we tell our people to repent from those fucking doctrines and wickedness in those camps. You're not of God being in a camp. God can't deal with you if you're in a damn camp following uh, wickedness and you're taking heed to the leaven of the Pharisees, which is what? The doctrine of the Pharisees and Sadducees, which is not according to the doctrine the Lord brought. So what we're trying to tell men. So in this time, you have to get to the Lord yourself. You have to follow the principles of the Lord and repent to his way. There's no other way in these times, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Guys need to repent or like the Lord said, repent or you shall all likewise perish. Period. Point blank. That's out of the Lord's mouth, man. Shalom.